In the book of Revelation, it said, let him that have wisdom, let him read the number of the beasts, for it is the number of man. And the number of the beasts is 600, three score and six. It is the number of the beasts. It is the number of man. The number of the beast is the number of man. It is six in three places. This has always been the strategy of Satan from the beginning. Because you see, when God made man, God made him trapatite. He made him in three layers. Spirit, soul, and body. So the idea then was that God was going to be at the center of the life of a man. So that when a man is redeemed, when a man is redeemed, his spirit comes alive. And that is now the center from where God coordinates his life. So that if God is properly situated in the spirit of a man, even his flesh will bend the knee eventually. There were times when, when you got saved newly, you could easily abuse somebody and then you now remember that you are a Christian. You can even throw a punch before you remember that you are a Christian. You could be vibing to a particular song before you remember that, hey, I'm born again. But that's not the end of the story. God begins to walk with you from inside to outside so that at the end of the day, it is going to be that the man is completely swallowed up by the government of God. But when Satan comes around, he preaches a false gospel of liberation to man and he says unto man that you are supposed to be at the center of your life. You remember what happened in Genesis chapter 3? That you shall not surely die. But God knows that in the day that you eat of it, you shall be like God. So there was that replacement therapy that was um, advertised to man. So that the place that only God should stay. It now happened to be the case that Satan advertised to him that the place that only God should stay, you can stay dead. That is exactly how his spirit died. Because his spirit was not designed to function on its own. So, in the fall, what we now have is, man is man all through. He is man inside, he is man outside. He is man spirit, he is man soul, he is man body. That a fractured nature now controls his very essence. So that that which was supposed to be God, that which was supposed to be captured by God, is now completely colonized by a flesh system, a carnal system. It is the number of man. Everything that the man begins to do from that time going forward, it is going to be for self-preservation. The same man that every time that God comes into the garden, he enjoys fellowship with him. This time around, God came into the garden and the man began to run away. And he was running away because he was afraid. He was afraid. He was afraid because he was naked. Everything he began to do from then on was for self-preservation. And his best shot at self-preservation was futile. It was. That is exactly how it is the number of a man. It is 600, three score and six. The place that God was supposed to be Lord and King over. He replaced it and put himself there. It is part of the reasons why at the regeneration, the thing that God seeks is the heart of a man. He wants to go there first. So it is part of the reasons why as a man, you would hand over your life to God and you will receive his life. Paul said in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, that I am crucified with Christ. He says, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but it is Christ that lives in me. So, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but Christ lives in me. So the place that used to be me before has been crucified, has been sentenced to death because the soul that sinned shall die. So at the regeneration, what God seeks is access into the heart of a man. That is what he seeks. It is access. Amen. Every time you see a fallen man, that man is functioning under the influence of the government of the beasts. When Satan came into the garden, he advertised man to man. But what he eventually achieved, which was his intention, is to take man and colonize him. So that every time an unbeliever thinks, he thinks for the preservation of himself. So when the beast advertised independence to man, what he wanted to do was to make man rebel against God and come out of the government of God and give him a false impression that he is the one in charge of his life. Because that is the best way in which Satan can find expression. The number of the beasts is the number of man.